Hey everyone. Alright, so for my vlog today, I am going to do my journal tag. Um, the journal tag that Smasher Chick came up with. Um, she also did the um, food tag. And I believe she has another tag coming soon too. I enjoy them. They're like really fun. I'm sorry I'm not going down farther because um, it looks like I'm butterball naked, but I'm not. I have my um, my little nighty shirt thing. This just doesn't have any shoulders. Okay. I'm not naked. Okay. <laughs> um, so let's begin. Shall we? Shall we? All right. So journal tag number one, how many journals do you own? Um, I'm going to say I'm a lot. Um, I just counted them because I just organized them and, and put them away. Um, wasn't that like three weeks ago, two weeks ago, something like that. I really don't remember. Um, I'll insert a journal picture here. Okay, so those are, that's the picture of, if I can find it. I'm sorry, y'all. This is really, I'm sorry. But I found something. Okay. That was number one. So I don't know. Maybe, what was it, like 15? But then I have like a lot of blank ones. No, it was like eight. No, it was like nine. All right, but uh, then I have like quite a few um, that are uh, hold on because I'll feel a little better. Just a sec. Oops! Oops. Dropping everything and stuff. All right, so I'm here, y'all. This is like the most bootleg video ever all right so okay <laughs> this because it doesn't look like this hold on still not working right <laughs> All right, I'm hoping this is a little better. Um, do my hair up in a pony. Okay, so number two, how many, mark one, how many of those are full and how many are unused? Um, like I said, I think I really don't remember. I'm so unprepared for this tag. But I just did, like I said, I just organized, organized them. I don't actually remember how many blank ones I had. One, two, three. Four, five, maybe five or six are blank. Like not eight are used. Mm. Number three, do you journal daily? Absolutely not. Um, I don't know. I don't. Um, I tend to just write when I write. Uh, number four, if not, how often? Okay, so I guess I should explain. So, typically, I'll, write, I'll journal. And this is pretty common, I guess. I know this. But I journal when something is upsetting. Um, I journal when I can't really... Um, make sense of, like, feelings that I'm having about something or... Usually, I will say, it's usually when I'm super sensitive about something that happened. And I don't know how else to get those feelings out. Um, number five. Do your entries tend to be a few short paragraphs or several pages long? Several pages long. Number six. Do you hold back from writing about certain topics or feelings for fear someone will one day read your journal? Nope, I write about everything. 
like absolutely everything bad everything good i mean in terms of like what i'm think feeling about like i don't restrict myself at all in my journal like it's i'm like mm, somebody would read that they would really think that i'm loco but you know it's okay um seven do you record your dreams in a journal no i tried that once before it really didn't work and my dreams are so freaking vivid and crazy sometimes so i really should but i don't um eight do you tend to write more when you are happy sad or angry well just like i said before i'm usually sad i think sad is the prevailing emotion there <laughs> like it's, it's rarely that i'm ain't all right when i'm p pissed off at something or that's maybe like 30 percent of my entries but mostly when i'm sad um nine have you ever ripped pages out of a journal and discarded them um, um maybe uh actually yeah in one of the more recent ones that i wrote i didn't finish the last few chunks of pages so i just ripped those blank i ripped those blank ones out and i tossed those but like, in terms of something that i've written and like didn't want to I have it in my journal and rip it out because I didn't want to, I, you know, I felt ashamed or something about writing then now. Usually if I rip it out, it's because I have extra pages left. Uh, number 10, describe or show your favorite journal. Um, I'm going to describe it because I don't have it here. It's in the closet. So my um favorite journal, I recently just did a journal video, a vlog, so if you totally want to like go back and see some of the journals then like i think it's like a f couple weeks back i did that vlog okay um i guess my favorite would be the soft one it was that tan one i think it was pretty recent it was the one given to me by my friend i think that was my favorite it's hard to pick a favorite journal because I love them for different reasons. 11, do you consider your journal to be private or are you okay with a relative or friend picking it up to read? They're private. They're private, they're totally private. Number 13, do you make a list in your journal? Example, to-do list, to buy baby names. Mm-mm-mm, not a list or person type person. Uh, for see, at least not for that. Like, if I know that there are, are things I want to do, say, like at work during my planning period, like specific things that I know need to get done, that I'll write them. Um, I'll write those, I'll jot those down on like scratch paper that I'm gonna toss out. But I would never, I never journal. 14, do you doodle or draw in your journal at all? Well, I have a specific doodle journal. Um, I could show you, but it's gonna ruin all my levels. So maybe I'll do a clip at the end of my doodle journal. And then when that one's full, I'll just get another doodle journal. But in my writing daily, my writing personal journal, no, I'm doing that. 15, do you stick with one color type of pen when you journal? Absolutely not. I love different colors in my journal. Different color inks. Um, 17, have you ever left your journal in public or an area of your home where it could be read? Did this cause a panic? Yeah, I've left it before out when I lived with my niece. Um, when it was just, it was just me and her. And it would be out all the time. And I just completely trusted her. And I trust my family too. I don't, it's weird. Maybe, um, out in the public public? No, because people are like totally nosy. But my family, yeah, they won't read my stuff. Um, 18, how old were you when you started your first journal? I believe the first one I have in there was 13, 14. Just turned 14. Well, in terms of the ones that I that I kept. Like, I think maybe before that when I maybe started one. But 14 is when I was... I just kept them. Mm, so sorry, y'all. I have something in my mouth. I just had beans and rice for dinner and like bean skin. Okay, get to my mouth. Um, 19. Do you tend to completely fill up? Do you tend to completely fill up a journal before starting a new one? 
Yes and no. Let me clarify. Yes, I do typically like to finish or get to the last, maybe like with like 10 sheets left in it, 10 or less. But this last, this most, most recent one, that small brown one that I was using, mm -mm. I wrote them maybe like 10 pages, maybe about 10, 12 pages tops. And I just, I couldn't keep writing that journal. That's the very first time I ever did that. So that one, I still kept it because there are a couple things in there I'm going to keep. But I'm um, 20. What's your favorite thing about keeping a journal? Hmm. I guess my absolutely favorite thing is being able to go back and read about my life. Um, not necessarily to see if I've changed or how, you know, my growth necessarily, but just to go back and jog my memory or some things that happen. Good, bad. Like, I'll read about um, mentioning my niece and nephew when they were, like, really little. Like, I'm babysitting them, and it was so weird. I'm like, it's amazing. I love stuff like that. So, I think that's my favorite part about keeping a journal, just having a, just having memoir-type feelings. Um, I think that's it. All right, so those are the 20 questions. And I thank you all for watching. And I may let me show you my well, I've shown it before, but I'll show you my doodle journal and my current journal. All right, so this is the current journal. I've written not very much so far. Yeah, so just one entry so far. That's all I've written. Um, so that's this. And I really love this journal. I wish I could remember where I purchased it from. Maybe it was Barnes and Nobles. Maybe. I think it was. One thing I dislike are these freaking plastic rings. I I hate. I loathe and I hate. Oh, you know what I forgot? I have a per, uh, per, a poetry journal over there. I forgot. Did I put that in my... um? No, I have a poetry journal I forgot about. I need to get that one going. Okay, let me put it in my journal thing. So, I do have this one. I've flipped through it before. But it's pretty much my doodle journal. Y'all know I love to doodle. Um, so yeah. That's what I use this for. Some random stuff. That I like to doodle. And I like to doodle. Something that I stir and I'm like, this sucks. So I was like, the, yeah, I think that one sucked. I think I may go back to it. This one's cool. I started this mess. I don't know what I was doing here. Like, if I mess up a pattern, I'm just like, screw it. And I usually leave it. Because it's supposed to be not stressful. So, not in focus. There we go. Good job, Tammy. I started this, Jane. I actually remember doing this. I wanted to do a daily doodle thing, but... I didn't work. It was like January 1st of like 2014, I think. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. This looks like... Yeah. Some of these are pretty cool. Some are still in the works. Some are actually finished. Yeah. Alright. But this is my doodle. Mess. I want to color this one in. This is my name and stuff. This is my name and stuff. It's totally screwed up. This one came out okay. I like that design right there. I did. And I think this was the most recent. Yeah, but alright. Thanks for watching, guys.